They gingerly pass debris down a makeshift assembly line. They know each piece of torn up concrete could hold the answer to what happened to Aton Pates. It's going to take as long as it takes. The process has begun and we're going to go through today uh, into the weekend and into early next week if need be. Police started their meticulous investigation Friday of debris brought up from a basement in this Manhattan building. Just a block away from where six-year-old Aton Pates went missing back in 1979. It was, it was a, a wasteland of sorts prior to 1979. And then what happened after Aton Pates was a sudden spotlight came on this neighborhood. Jim Stratton, Cass Collins, and Yuki Ota all lived in the neighborhood when little Aton went missing. Yuki used to play in the very basement police are now digging up. There used to be a play area for neighborhood kids. It's strange. <laughs> it's strange. I mean, because I can picture the space as I remember it as a child. I'm sure it doesn't look like that anymore, but, and I have pictures of myself down there. And really? Cass Collins was much older at the time. The disappearance had a profound impact on her as a parent. Years later, she would sit down and tell her own son why she never let him walk to the school bus alone. And I said to him, you know, if, if, there, if you in, got a sense from us that the world is a scary place, it came from Eton Pates. That's where it came from. Now, 33 years later, the trail brought police back to this spot. Along the route, the little boy walked on his way to the school bus when he vanished. At the time he went missing, the building's basement was used as a workshop by a handyman named Othniel Miller. Police say discussions with Miller, along with traces picked up by cadaver dogs, led them back to this location. Uh, there was a hit, a, uh, a uh, cadaver dog hit on the location, and a decision was made to go forward with, with more intense uh, excavation. But how strong can a scent be after being buried for three decades? Forensic experts say a trained dog's nose is extremely sensitive to decomposing chemicals. The problem is they may not always be human. We don't really know whether the dogs uh, are alerting in a reliable way because clearly, uh, in addition to human decomposition, animal decomposition may cause an alert as well. And there may be other factors. So it is questionable as to whether there really is a body uh, in the location that they are uh, digging. For the Pates family, it's all a bit overwhelming. They're withholding comment while police dig for clues for their son just down the street. I don't think they have any expectations that even if they get the final answer to what happened, that it's going to make everything okay. But as Stan often says, it's something, and something is better than nothing. In New York, Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press.